Hello everyone, welcome back to another video. Today we're gonna to be talking about your big chop essentials. The things that you're gonna need if you decide to do the big chop to go natural, okay? So I'm going to assume that one of the reasons why you're doing the big chop is either because you had damaged hair or you had relaxed hair and you wanna go natural or you're trying to grow your hair out or you just wanna start afresh, okay? So this is for like those who have done the big chop and you're trying to grow your hair out because if you're not trying to grow your hair out and you've done the big chop then you don't really need a lot of things because hair is always growing even if you don't moisturize your hair even if you don't wash your hair all the time your hair is always growing the issue is retaining length so when it comes to retaining length um that's where you have to put a lot of effort into looking after your hair and paying attention to your hair if you all want to see what my natural hair looks like i'm going to leave a link somewhere on the screen so you can see it um the reason why you're not seeing it in this video is because i've put it in a flat twist and that's what i normally do every single week and i don't have time to be you know going in and out with my hair i've got other stuff to do so if you want to see it i'll leave that link on the screen but today i'm going to go through the essentials the things that you need for you know growing out your hair i don't really like to call it a journey because you've had hair all your life you know it's something that you have to do all your life you have to take care of your hair all your life as a woman as a lady as someone who's feminine hair is very very important it really does make a difference to your overall look so this is not in any order by the way i've got the pro i've got some of the products in here because i don't live in a fancy house okay i don't have a fancy shelf and all that kind of stuff so i just have to make use of whatever is around me so i've pretty much put the hair products in here um this is not where i keep my hair products okay i just put them in there because it's easier for me to just take it talk about it and you all can have a look all right so the first thing um when it comes to your um big chop essentials meaning the things that you need to buy the things that you must have in order to um in order for your hair to flourish and to grow your hair out and also for your hair regimen like it's really good to have a hair regimen which is something that i'm going to talk about in another video first thing first is shampoo okay we all know you need shampoo why because you need to clean your scalp that's where hair you know your your hair is coming from well not exactly from the scalp but there's something underneath the scalp which i can't remember what it's called but then it comes out through the scalp yeah so you need shampoo because if your scalp ain't clean or if your scalp's got issue um that's going to affect the 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 way your hair would look and also you don't want to be in your hair doing this all the time you want to have a good foundation so you're going to need two different types of shampoo i'm trying to okay so you need a sulfate free shampoo and you need a shampoo that has sulfate now the reason why you need a sulfate free shampoo is when you use a shampoo that has sulfate every single time i don't know how often you wash your hair but for me i wash my hair once every single week um because low porosity hair you know you do have product build up and not only that i love to have a fresh start every week water is hydration to the hair so if you're going about a month two months three months without washing your hair your hair is not getting hydrated enough you know so a sulfate free shampoo is really good to use every single week but the thing about a sulfate free shampoo is um it's not going to give you that deep cleanse so that's why that's sorry that's why you need a sulfate shampoo as well so if you're one who washes your hair every single week you use a sulfate free shampoo and then maybe once every two months like for me it would be once every three months i use a sulfate shampoo now if you're looking for a sulfate um shampoo or shampoo that has sulfate please make sure it's a shampoo that actually has an essential oil in it so for me it's a mazani scalp care shampoo um I don't know if you can really see that clearly I hope you can anyway I'm gonna list these products in the description box what I love about this is it's got peppermint oil in it if you hear noise in the background my brother's hooving please please I apologize okay um, this has got peppermint in it and it has that 
cooling sensation on your scalp like once this shampoo touches your scalp you feel that mental effect and you just know that your scalp is getting all that stuff that it needs so that's why i love the mazani one that's what i would suggest and it's not too harsh as well it's anti-dandruff shampoo so if you have scalp issues please try the mazani scalp care um collection because i've used mazani conditioner i've used a shampoo i've used a deep conditioner which is something i'm gonna have to talk about in another video um i love mazani for that and the smell is i wouldn't say it smells sweet sweet but you just know that um it's a, it's the kind of smell that you would expect like i don't know how to say it it's got peppermint oil in it cucumber extract for um flaking and itchy scalp okay so it controls flakes and itchiness and it really does what it says um for my sulfate free shampoo i use the cream of nature clay and charcoal um i hope you can see that very well um this the reason why i use this to begin with actually in the beginning of my big chop um i was using the cream of nature pure honey shampoo and the smell was amazing it smells so sweet the thing about me is a product has to smell good if i'm going to use it okay it just has to smell good because that's what's going to motivate me to keep using it so it smells so good it smells so sweet but after a few months my hair just wasn't feeling it and you're gonna find this happening a lot you know some things work for your hair and then after a while your hair is like you know what i'm not feeling it i don't like it anymore change it you know so i had to change it and when i noticed that my hair was still dry and i just was not you know seeing it looking lustful then the holy spirit had suggested the holy spirit had told me go and get the clay and charcoal um shampoo from cream of nature this is why you need to involve god in your journey okay in terms of everything every aspect of your life like trust me god cares about your hair okay he gave you hair so why will he not care about your hair so he told me to get this and i got it and the one thing i like about it it's got aloe vera juice it's got russell clay and bentonite clay and activated charcoal in it when you use this on your hair you know your hair is squeaky clean like you will know it's squeaky clean and the smell it smells like um you know when men put on deodorant like it has that i can't explain it. it it has that masculine kind of smell it still smells good it smells fresh but not sweet obviously it's got a masculine kind of scent to it so it's not too bad um so yeah that's an extension that you're gonna need if you if you've done the big chop is shampoo two different types so this one here is quite costly the mazani but it's a lot okay and i only use it once every three months so it will last me a long time this one it looks quite small but trust me it's 355 mil Um, there's a lot in it a little bit goes a long way so don't worry about the size of the product <laughs> the next thing that you're gonna need is a conditioner you need a rinse out conditioner so there's two different types of conditioner you got a deep conditioner and then you got a rinse out conditioner this is a rinse out conditioner it's part of the clay and charcoal from cream of nature so my advice is this whatever shampoo you're using whatever non sorry whatever sulfate free shampoo you're using make sure that your rinse out conditioner is from the same um collection okay because what you want is consistency of the of the ingredient so you if you're using an ingredient that has aloe vera juice in your shampoo you want to make sure that that same thing is in your rinse out conditioner not your deep conditioner your rinse out conditioner so that way you're getting most of the ingredient in your hair all right so this is the rinse out conditioner from the clay and shampoo from cream um of nature as well i don't like the smell of this i really don't but it's really really good but i don't like the smell it's quite thick as well um it's got the same thing aloe vera juice activated charcoal um russell clay bontonite clay as well um you know how all these rinse condi rinse out conditioner always tell you to leave it in for five minutes when you got afro hair you need extra time so i always leave it in for 10 minutes and i see all my curls pop out it really softens my hair and um it conditions it as well so yeah that's that's a rinse out 
conditioner out of the way next thing you're gonna need is a styling gel all right when you've done the big chop when you have afro hair you know sometimes it could just look bleh like it could just look bleh like <laughs> there's nothing to it until you use like um a styling product so for me what i would suggest is the Aunt Jackie ice curls now let me just say in the beginning of my big chop um i was using this i was washing my hair like i was washing my hair every single day with a rinse out conditioner right when i had a big chop when my hair was really really low and i will try and insert a video but it's unfortunate that i don't actually have a picture if i have a picture of how low it was i'll try and insert it so you can see i was washing my hair every single day with a rinse out conditioner because i was following um this man's advice on youtube what's his name oh it's axe what's his name oh my goodness how can i not remember his name it's axe do you know what let me just quickly type his name up on youtube because he gave this advice about washing your hair every day with a rinse out conditioner um axe dicky yes that's his name axe dicky so he suggested that black women should wash their hair every single day with a rinse out conditioner and just use a styling product and just go and i did that when i had a big chop i did that and i saw a huge difference in my hair i didn't have um single strand knots my hair was really really soft you know it, it was beautiful and then when i used this on top of it like without using a leave-in conditioner the minute i just washed my hair and used this straight away and used a danum brush to brush it out my curls were popped in it made my hair go from a 4c to a 4a like people thought i really had silky curly hair but what was happening was my hair was really short and i was washing it every day with water and a rinse out conditioner only and i wasn't putting the rinse out conditioner on my scalp it was just on my hair all right do not make that mistake to put a rinse out conditioner on your scalp it's not for your scalp it's for your hair so i would do that and then come out of the shower and just put this on top straight away and that was it and it was so good it was so nice but when my hair got to about three to four inches i realized that this was no longer enough it wasn't working okay my hair had gotten more thicker and so it just wasn't working anymore but if you have a big chop i can almost guarantee that it should work for your hair the smell is amazing like it is amazing sometimes i just sit down when i'm thinking and i just open a product that smells so good and i'm like you know that's me i'm all about fragrance like i'm not about shoes i'm not about bags i'm not about clothes i'm not about heels but perfume fragrances yes that's me so yes the styling um gel i'm not about this whole eco styler gel like i'm not a fan of that um i just don't like it at all i'm that kind of person where if everyone's using something i tend to use the opposite i'm just like that i'm not the same with everyone so but this one a lot of people have used it it's really good for low porosity hair as well the problem with this is the next day what i find with this the next day you have flakes so i don't know i've seen some people on youtube say that they can go a whole week with it with me i found that the next day it was causing flakes so i would wash it again rinse conditioner and do the same thing and that was that please remember that your styling gel is not a moisturizer okay no matter how much the product says it moisturizes your hair it does not styling gels gels in general are not a moisturizer so don't make that mistake um the next thing you're gonna need is a microfiber um towel for your hair some people like to use a t-shirt or a shirt but i like to use a microfiber towel because this stuff really dries your hair very very quickly also it's not harsh on your hair um and you can always you know leave it on your hair kind of make it feel warm so i would suggest you get that i got mine from amazon look not nothing too pricey okay just make sure that um you get one that you like in the color that you like <laughs> if you know me you should know that pink is my color and i'll always be getting stuff in pink but yeah microfiber towel is really really important don't just use any towel on your hair make sure that it's soft 
and make sure that it's able to um, absorb water from your hair so that's that next thing you're gonna need is a don't know if you can see that twisting cream okay now the thing is this is a pure honey cream of nature uh twisting cream can you see it can you see it can you see it are you gonna focus no i don't think it's focusing i need to change my camera oh sorry you can stay in my room for the meantime anyway that's my brother i'm, I'm I'm actually using his room. All right, one of the reasons why you might need a twisting cream is if you want to put your hair in conros, if you want to do a flat twist, um, a twisting cream is essential because it will help you leave um, the, the braided style the way it is and it will stay the way it should stay. So you can also use a moisturizer as well as your twisting cream. It's not compulsory for you to get a twisting cream, but you can also... Um, use the regular moisturizer you have as your twisting cream so this might be essential for some people it might not be essential for some people this is the cream of nature pure honey one the smell is amazing but the problem is my hair was no longer feeling it anymore and i made that mistake yeah i made a mistake where i was trying to use this twisting cream as a moisturizer and i was literally forcing my hair to accept this as a moisturizer and my hair was just not having it my hair is quite stubborn and so um i was just wondering like why can't you moisturize my hair like what's going on but I, when i looked at the label it says twisting cream not moisturizer twisting cream so that's the reason why my hair was not feeling it now i've used this as a flat twist i've done a video using this as as a flat twist or a conroe i will link it somewhere in on the screen um but my hair has gotten fuller now my hair has gotten thick and this is just not good enough anymore for my hair it's good as a product but my hair is no longer feeling it anymore so if you have 4a 3b this product would be really good if you have big hair full hair with 4c 4b i don't really think um it might work so that's just my advice depending on your hair what's really important when you're picking out products which is something I'm going to emphasize on in another video is always looking at the ingredients that your hair likes but I'm not going to go into that today the next essential stuff that you're going to need is a hair mask why because you're going to have to deep condition okay if you want to grow out your hair if you want your hair to be looking healthy to be looking lustful you have to have to deep condition okay if you if you don't intend to deep condition your hair just don't go natural keep relaxing your hair okay if you if you don't intend to deep condition at all do not go natural because you're not making life easy for yourself and you're not making life easy for your hair all right so a hair mask is crucial so the hair mask that i'm using right now is the tgin do i have it here no it's in my room it's a tgin um hair mask it's got honey and olive oil in it it's really important that when you're going natural please try and get products that got natural ingredients in it so with the tgin um they've got olive oil and they've got honey in it and it's really really good for 4c hair 4b hair that hair mask literally changed my hair it changed my hair like it gave my hair movement before my hair was not having movement like it wasn't you know when i'm nodding my head my hair would just stick there it would just stick out and not move when i started using that hair mask it allowed my my hair to have movement so um i would suggest that to anybody who has 4c or 4b hair but in the beginning of my big chop i was actually using the cream of nature hair mask because with fine hair you want to make sure that you're not using products that are too thick that tends to weigh it down um, but even though the TGIN hair mask is thick, I found that it still worked for my fine hair. So this one here from Cream of Nature is not really thick. What I love about this one, even though my hair is no longer feeling it, is it really does not weigh your curls down at all. Like your curls will be popping with this one. It really will. And you will see like your curls like um put in place with it as well um it does what it says and also is sulfate free it has no mineral oil 
um, rich in coconut, shea butter, and pure honey. But when you go to the ingredients, right, you realize that the shea butter, coconut, and all of that is not even at the beginning of the ingredient list. It's somewhere in the middle. So it's not really a natural product. A natural product will say shea butter, olive oil, and you'll see it in the first five list of ingredients at the very top if you see that at the very bottom then it's not really um it's not really a natural like it's not a natural hair product if you know what i mean if i'm making sense i don't know if i'm making sense <laughs> next thing you're gonna need is a comb like this one that's got this at the end i don't know what they call it i don't even know what they call these combs um, you're going to need one like this to part your hair all the time because you'll forever be parting your hair as long as you got hair on your head. Next thing you're going to need um, is a protein deep conditioner or a protein treatment, okay? Now, I know there's a popular one that I'm seeing about on YouTube, which is called the autophagy protein treatment. I haven't used that, but I know that that stuff would be too harsh on my fine hair. So I didn't even try it because I know myself like when you know your hair you, you get to that point where you look at a product and you're like my hair's not gonna like it Like you will you will just know your hair's not gonna like it But the protein treatment that I would recommend that's really good for fine hair and it's so cheap Like it's so cheap and it's so good and it does what it says is the originals hair mayonnaise Okay, um, I'm going to again leave the name and everything in the description box they have it on amazon they'll definitely have it in your local beauty supply store this stuff i i just can't believe how cheap it is it's 4.99 yeah but it does what it says and some people might say oh well you know it's not strong enough for a protein treatment but here's the thing yeah fine hair we don't really need like a strong protein treatment if you get what i'm saying like we don't need one like the autophagy we don't we don't need that especially if you have a healthy hair to begin with or you've started the big chop you don't really need like a harsh protein treatment on fine hair so this one's got um natural herbs olive oil and egg protein before in the past you used to see like um pieces of the um was it pieces of the herbs yeah yeah you'd see like pieces of the herbs in it but now they've changed that um you don't see that anymore like it's just it's just plain now and it smells good i like the smell it smells really good and what i love about it it's not really it's not thick it's not thick which is which makes it great for fine hair but at the same time when you put it on your hair and then you steam your hair you're gonna feel it just melt on your scalp like you'll feel it just on your scalp and you know that your roots are getting the benefit that you need to get from it so if you've got really really thick hair maybe the autophagy might work for you but for me i use the um egg sorry hair mayonnaise right when i used to hear people say that they put mayonnaise in their hair i actually thought it was like the mayonnaise that we use for food and I would wonder why are people putting that stuff in their hair but I think what they meant was an actual hair mayonnaise product so that's what I use on my hair I do protein treatment once every month that's my regimen some people do it once every six weeks some people do it once every three months but for me I do it once every um, month that's when I do it so another thing that you're gonna need as a brush now when you have fine hair combs are not really your best friend they're just not your best friend now if it works for you you know that's good do whatever works for you but i find that a denim brush works best and if your hair is still short then just get a small denim brush if your hair is really big get a bigger one you know depends on your hair i find that with the denim brush it really is soft on your hair and it's not too harsh and it's just I think it's something that fine hair likes I find that the white two comb is just too harsh on the hair and it's just breaking it and so I don't like it I used to be afraid to comb my hair with that white two comb so I had to look for an alternative and I found that these ones were the best so that's another extension you're gonna need 
Another one is going to be a moisturizer. So the one that I have is a TGIN Buttercream Daily Moisturizer. Let me tell you something. When I did a big chop in the beginning, I did not realize that I didn't have a moisturizer until about seven months later. <laughs> Honestly, seven months later. That's when I realized that, wait a minute, I actually don't have a moisturizer, you know? And I was wondering, like, why is my hair just looking dry? Like, why is it looking dry? Why is it when I put something on it, a few hours later, it's like I didn't put anything on it. And then I looked at all my hair products and I realized I actually don't have a moisturizer. So I had to go out and go on a search for a moisturizer. I, I, I tried a few. I had to throw a few in the bin before I got to one. And the best one for me would be the TGIN Buttercream Daily Moisturizer this moisturizer oh my goodness oh my goodness like it just makes my hair look two times better it really does and it brings out the curls and a little bit goes a long way it really goes a long way it makes your hair look nicer um but obviously you can't use it straight away you have to use a liquid and then a butter on top that's how it is but afro hair it smells like this um particular medicine that kids use what's what's it called kapol i don't know if they have it in the us but in the uk we call it kapol it, it smells exactly like that besides those of you who might be like oh why is she putting her nose in her product like you're gonna transfer whatever whatever i do this to all my products okay i'm i do that to everything i have in my house i smell everything next thing that you're gonna need is a detangler right um, a leave-in or a detangler. I don't think you need a leave-in and a detangler. Do you know what I mean? Like, I'm sure there are people who are trying to save money. I don't have a leave-in. I used to have a leave-in, but I realized it wasn't important anymore. I just need a detangler. So for me, it's the Aunt Jackie, not on my watch, instant detangler. This, for me, serves as a detangler. It serves as a leave-in conditioner, but it's not good enough on its own as a moisturizer. So whenever I moisturize my hair, I use the detangler first. And then I use the um, moisturizer on top. It does what it says. Like, it does what it says. Not every single product does what it says. That's why I have to keep saying it. Um, if a product says it should do something and it's not doing something on your hair, it's a sign that it's not for you. It's a sign that it's not for you. Especially if you know that the techniques is right, then it's not for you. When it comes to a leave-in conditioner, I don't know what are you looking for for it to condition your hair right so for me one of the leave-on conditioners I would suggest is the Mazani 25 miracle milk I used this when I was um, transitioning um, in the earlier days when I was transitioning this stuff is really really good if you're relaxed this is going to be perfect for your hair if you're natural um, this also is good for natural hair. The thing is, I used it while I was transitioning. When I went fully natural, I haven't used it on my hair yet. I might go back to buying it again. I don't know. I might see how it goes. Um, but it's really good as a leave-in conditioner. And it says it here, you know, nourishing leave-in conditioner, lightweight. Yeah, if you go to the back, um, it has a list of things that it should do. And to be honest with you, every single thing that was on here did exactly what it said it would do i mean i think i'm gonna go back to buying this and use this as a heat protective for my hair um because it also does that as well as a heat protective for your hair it prevents heat damage it allows you to manage your hair if you're transitioning i would suggest you get this because it really did work in my transitioning days it made the natural hair flat and while my relaxed hair was like you know at the end of it so it's really really good um for that if you want me to suggest a leave-in conditioner for you also if you've done a big chop and you want your curls to pop i would suggest you use the s curl um what's it called i used to have it but i don't have it anymore um s curl the s curl moisturizer the one with the spray on top yes oh my goodness is really really good for big chops it allows your curls to pop and it will change your hair from a 4C to a 4A hair, for, to a 4A texture. Like people will think you have a 4A hair when you use it. Originally, it's for um, 
low cut hairstyle so the s curl is really really good for that it really does get your curls popping but once your hair starts to grow then it doesn't really do that anymore so that's why i had to stop using it my hair was getting more fuller and a bit longer so it wasn't doing what i said but you know like the product is only for low cut hairstyles anyway so that was that um another thing that you're gonna need is a hooded dryer so i got mine from amazon a hooded dryer to deep condition your hair because like i said if you're planning to go natural you have to have to have to have to deep condition your hair every single week well let me not say have to do it every week um because everyone's got a different regimen but for me i do it every week because i don't do protective styling I just put my hair in a flat twist but you're gonna need a hooded dryer and look you don't need to go expensive I got this on Amazon um, and it works perfectly fine also with the hooded dryer you're gonna need a hair dryer all right the hair dryer is gonna go at the end of your hooded dryer and that way your deep condition can go deep into your hair right because deep conditioning helps you manage the roots um, adds moisture to the roots adds moisture to the hair all together and allows you to manage your hair um perfectly well so that's one of the reasons why you're going to need a hooded dryer for your big chop and have i listed everything is there anything else i'm missing out on also you might need an empty spray bottle and um, for those of you who like to use water as your daily moisturizer i don't use water as a daily moisturizer because with afro hair water causes shrinkage and i don't have time to be twisting my hair out every single day so yeah you might need an empty water bottle also you might need an empty bottle for oil those of you who want to use essential oils um for me i use rosemary essential oils i don't use it all over my scalp i just use it at the back of my head because you know i i touched on having traction on the pc yeah, due to me wearing wigs constantly so yeah you might need an empty oil bottle this was from Mazani um, Mazani had a serum and I was done using it so I just emptied it out and used it for my own hair and I think that is it let me just check also you're gonna need bobby pins especially when you get to that awkward stage with your natural hair where like you know your hair can stay down but it's not full enough or long enough to put it in a bun you're gonna need a lot of bobby pins to, to make it work so while you're out shopping you know you can just add that to your trolley um and i think that is really it that is your big chop essentials so yeah that is it now i don't want you to feel like oh my gosh i have to get everything all at once no like like i said before when i did the big chop i did not have a moisturizer i was using the s curl as a moisturizer and it was enough until my hair was getting full and getting big and then i realized okay i need to go get a moisturizer also um i didn't even start like oh oh boy um also i didn't even have a sulfate shampoo i was using a non-sulfate shampoo a sulfate free shampoo for like five months straight without even using a sulfate shampoo do you know because my hair didn't have any problem until i realized that my scalp was getting a bit itchy and i'm like what's going on why is the scalp getting a bit itchy and then i remembered that i had to get a sulfate shampoo so don't feel like you have to get everything at once okay the one thing that you do need to get at once is your shampoo rinse out conditioner deep conditioner your hooded dryer and your dryer okay and your styling gel yes you're gonna need that in the first few months of your big chop depending on how full your hair is or how small your hair is and that's pretty much it for this video if you do like it hit the subscribe button hit the like button share this with anyone who needs help with a big chop and i'm gonna see you all in my next video bye